Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. In case if the question needs a much detailed explanation, then I will post it as a separate video and I will add it to the respective playlist. As a continuation of that, in this video, we are going to see how to know the number of records affected by the query. So for better understanding, I am just going to take five different uh, block or five different statement and we are going to see how to find or how to return the number of records affected by the statement. So the first anonymous block, we are just doing a simple update statement. So we are just going to see how to find number of record affected by this update statement. Same way I have taken like few more uh, examples like one for delete statement, another one for insert statement. So this insert is based on a simple value based insert. Another block is a query based insert. We are using a subquery and the entire information we are just going to insert into another table. So we are just going to see how to find the number of records inserted here. So the next one is like I'm just going to take a merge statement to find how, how many number of records affected by the merge. So this will include the updated as well as the inserted record. And finally a block which is going to have a select statement. So we are just going to see how to find the number of records fetched by the select statement. So in fact I have taken different blocks basically to show you two different ways by which you can find this information. Uh, so first let me show you the two different methods then I will show you the demo. Okay. So basically there are two different ways by which we can find the number of records affected. The first method is basically using the implicit cursor attribute SQL percentage row count because any statement, any SQL statement we are executing or giving as input to Oracle optimizer, it will open an cursor and it will execute the query and return back the information. So this is a implicit cursor that is Oracle automatically opens it, executes it, returns it and closes the memory location. We can get information about the implicit cursor through its attribute, uh, through it attribute. Uh, to get the information about that, we need to use the cursor attributes. In fact, here we are using the implicit cursor attribute. That's why we are using the SQL percentage. So SQL is nothing but the name of the implicit cursor. And row count will return the number of rows affected by the implicit cursor. In fact, I have uh, discussed in detail about the cursor attribute and how to use the cursor attributes for both implicit cursor as well as explicit cursor in this video. Okay, so the next method is basically using a returning class as part of the DML statement. So the intention of this returning statement is basically to get the information about the rows affected by the DML statement. In fact, we can use the returning keyword along with the aggregate functions like count, max or min. So in this example, I'm just going to use the count basically to find the number of records affected. So this will basically return the number of records affected by this update statement and that we can use it to know how many number of record affected by the update statement. So let me now show you uh, both the ways for all the five examples what I have sh shown previously because there are a few restrictions in using the returning class. In fact, SQL percentage row count is applicable for all the previous examples because it is a, just an implicit cursor attribute. Whereas returning class we can use only for the DML and there are few restrictions also that we will see now. So the first example I have taken is the update statement. So in the left side of the screen I have used the <coughs> cursor attribute. And in the right side of your screen, I have used the returning class. In fact, I'm just going to show the same pattern for rest of the examples also. So first let us execute our first uh, block, which I'm using the SQL percentage row count. As you can see here, it is just printing 14 record updated. So let me just roll back this because I'm just going to use the same table for other sessions also. I just don't want the other sessions to get blocked. Okay, so I have rolled back it here. Now let me execute the uh, returning class block. As you can see here, now we are using the returning class along with the uh, aggregate function to find the number of records updated. So this is for a update statement. Let me show the second example for based on a delete statement. 
in fact this is also almost similar so we are using sql percentage row count to find that is the implicit cursor attribute to find the number of records deleted so it is just printing three so let me roll back it here same way i'm just going to execute the block which is going to use the returning class so using returning class also along with the aggregate function count we are printing or we are getting the number of record affected by the delete statement so let me just roll back it here so in both so this is uh, applicable in fact the returning class is applicable for dml operations only that uh, we'll see when i when i will talk about the select statement so the third uh, st statement or third example is based on insert statement using the values keyword so i'm here i'm just using a insert statement in fact we can use the sql percentage row count which will just return the number of records affected obviously we are using insert as part of values we will just insert only one value so the next example so in fact uh, which uses the returning keyword first let me ex execute this so here there is one uh, small thing you need to keep it in mind when we are using the returning keyword as part of delete as well as update we are using the count of star but whereas when you are trying to use as part of insert with values keyword we will not be able to use the aggregate function when you try to use it it will give you an error so first let me show you here when you say count of one it will show an error saying that group functions are not allowed so in, that's why instead of uh, putting a count i've just written the employee number because in this case i don't know what was the employee number inserted so basically to get the information i'm using the return returning class in fact the actual usage of returning class is to get the information about the record but in this case i'm just using the aggregate function to to know the number of record so this particular example i just want to show you to emphasize that the aggregate function that is the group functions are not allowed as part of returning class when you are using as part of insert statement okay so now let us see the next example insert along with the select statement okay so here is also there is a small difference there is no difference in terms of sql percentage row count so here i've just executed this will tell the number of record inserted which we are just printing using the sql percentage row count in fact the sql percentage row count we can use for all the sql statement here but whereas when you are trying to use the returning class as part of insert along with the select statement we will be getting an error so returning class is not supported for that's why i just put a note here in returning classes not supported for sql query based insert statement like even when you try to execute this you will get an error okay so i just want to show you this error so that you will keep it in mind that the returning class is not supported for sql query based insert statements fine now let me show you the next example the merge statement so for merge statements also the returning class itself is not supported so returning class is supported only for the insert update delete and not for the merge so we, if you want to know the number of records affected by this merge statement in fact we can use the sql row count so fine let me just execute this as we can see here the number of records merged is one in this case the final example is based on a select statement so here i've just used a um, select with along with bulk collect keyword so basically i just want to know how many number of records fetched by the select statement in fact you can uh, find this information by two way obviously the first way is using the implicit cursor attribute sql percentage row count the second way is since we are getting all the information into a collection we can use the collection function so the count will return the number of record fetched into this collection so let just let me execute this so in this case it, the both are printing 14 so obviously the returning class is only for insert update delete and it is not for merge and it's not for select as well that's why i have not uh, used the returning class in this case if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id thanks a lot for watching this video